I didn't want the paintings to be an exact depiction of this person that I'm talking to. It was more about the story. The faces that I paint, they're not really them. They're like a mixture of imagination, sometimes memory. I have been doing art kind of as like, I guess, a full-time thing since I started university. Well, I did an art foundation first and then I did my degree at Edinburgh where I studied art and history of art. Art has been a really big part of my life. When I was younger, um, I spent a lot of time out of school and um, a lot of what I could do was kind of like these creative outlets. So drawing and then painting became a really nice refuge for me during that time. I always remember it being like really, really integrated into my life. And then when I finished my degree, I had like a bit of an unexpected response to my degree show in a positive way, which meant that I thought about doing this as a full-time thing, or at least looking at making it into a career. I kind of work in different ways with certain projects. So sometimes I'll paint people that I actually know. And then another way of getting narrative paintings is I do research projects where I have used the internet a lot of the times to um, basically collect information on certain themes. I start off with interview questions and then we go into just a normal conversation because I want it, like, I, I, there are certain things that I need to gain in order to have an image in my head, things about them, things about, like, their surroundings, but then it, it will turn into something that's more conversational. And then I collage images, um, so that's kind of what I reference back to when I'm painting, and that's pretty good for stuff with details. The work that I do, the people that I paint aren't concretely there a lot of the time. There's this idea of like a dreamlike state. There's something that's not quite physically there. It's almost because of these imagined faces, these things associated with memory. These softer tones work well with that. And I have a lot of interest in not just like painting a portrait of a person as a sitter. I want to paint a little bit more about them and a little bit more about their story. And that's how it ties into this narrative thing. And I'm quite interested in getting these like in between moments like it's not someone just like looking at me like they're posing and with these more empty backgrounds it's adding to that like the hint of something but not giving all the information away I prefer working on wood it requires a lot more kind of like careful attention so I like the process of kind of going bit by bit on the wood the sort of like the grains of the wood to come through and allow for the material of what I'm working on to be part of the painting. Some paintings I feel like I can visualize more on canvas, maybe to do with color. Like I find that with wood, no matter what, it warms up. I think that's quite special in art, like being able to almost have a dialogue with it, with whatever you're looking at. What was she trying to tell with that? I think that allows for more conversation with the work. Art is like a really good form of escapism, but also very confronting of like the world that we live in right now. I find it a really important method of being able to see like people's relationships to the world, to the society they live in. It feels amazing to be part of uh, Marlborough Gallery's exhibition, Face to Face, Celebration of Portraiture. Uh, as a, I mean, I'm a, I, I am a portrait artist, like obviously heavily narrative, but I love to paint people. Like people is, is kind of the subject that I get most excited by. So to be part of a show that is, um, you know, encouraging that, celebrating that is a massive honor to be part of a, gallery that I've had so much respect for and admiration for and that has hosted artists that I see as massive influences to me is kind of like unreal. Freud, his earlier portraits, faces a little bit more 
unusual because it's these like really, really long eyes and um, they're almost kind of exaggerated. He has always been a massive inspiration for my work. Bacon is an artist that I massively admired for so long because I think the way that he depicts subjects has like a real darkness to it. But even though they're dark, you still want to get drawn into what you're looking at. It's quite amazing to be showing alongside such a huge artistic inspiration.